Um, and what are some uh, immunotherapy treatments um, specifically in the pipeline for my, uh, multiple myeloma that you're interested in keeping your eye on? I think one of the most interesting developments for multiple myeloma immunotherapy this coming year will be the bispecific T-cell engagers. Some of that data has already been presented last year at ASH from the cell chain compound, and now this year at ASCO from Janssen. And what's interesting about these bispecific T-cell engagers is that they're an off-the-shelf drug. And although they do require a hospitalization for maybe the first or second dose, and they do cause cytokine release syndrome or CRS, they are eventually outpatient friendly and they're not continuous infusion. So the cell gene product allows for every week and then every two weeks, and then eventually around cycle seven or so every week uh, to be infused. Um, and that allows it to be an outpatient friendly regimen. And to Clistamab, which is the Janssen BCMA by specific, is weekly um, also. So I think this is very outpatient friendly considering that these patients were on therapy for so long. So um, I'm looking forward to the data because right now the highest dose is in the phase one even. So that, that's where you get, I mean, that's not always your best data, but in the phase one, they're showing uh, response rates in the highest, highest doses for the cell gene product around 89% and then into clistamab around 67%. So what I wanna see is the duration of response and also what happens, long-term toxicities, et cetera. So really looking forward to that because I think it will bring very effective immunotherapy, not just to a specialized center, but maybe available to patients in various community practices. And how do you foresee these novel treatments changing the, um, the, the treatment landscape and paradigm and potentially evolving the use of combination therapy? Yeah, the great thing about myeloma therapies is that as soon as you get activity of one, you're always ready with the next trial to combine with something else. And I think that is probably very true with immunotherapy. We know that there are other drugs we use that may stimulate the immune system, for example, immunomodulatory agents, of which there are varieties that are already FDA approved, but also ones that are coming down the pipeline. And, and those might be drugs that we'd want to combine with these uh, bispecific T cell engagers, for example, or maybe after CAR T as maintenance. Um, in order to promote this sort of immunostimulatory environment to keep killing at the myeloma. I think other things that would be interesting, although we haven't really gone that way, is maybe looking at um, pembrolizumab or uh, nivolumab or and any of the, um, the T-cell stimulating therapies that we have or checkpoint inhibitors, because although those haven't gained much ground lately in myeloma, we know that myeloma is a disease of immunodeficiency and immune dysfunction.